Hello, family. Happy New Year. Yay! We made it one more year. 2020 was the best year of my life, and 2021 will be even better. I pray that you and your family have a blessed 2021. I will be bringing you a lot of wedding ideas. So you ready for 2021? Let's go. Yay! Here are the supplies you will need to make a simple, inexpensive, and gorgeous bride headpiece that I am wearing in this video. Now I bought a yard of this beautiful sparkling sheer fabric from Joann's. This fabric was $5.99 with a discount of 30% off. It is so beautiful. The first thing I did was fold my fabric in half. I previously measured how long I wanted it to be by taking the measuring tape and measuring it from the back of my head to just past my shoulders which is 14 inches long. Then I measured it across 10 inches which in total it is 20 inches across. Right now I'm cutting out my sheer fabric and I'm just going to use one piece of fabric for this headpiece. The next thing I'm going to do is open up my fabric and then I'm just going to cut a piece of the fabric that I do not want to use. While I'm doing that, I want to take the time out to welcome my first time viewers to I Love Weddings. If this is your first time, welcome, welcome, welcome. I appreciate you stopping by. Go ahead on and subscribe, like, and turn your notification bell on so you would know each time I upload a video. For this next step, I'm going to use my needle and thread, but first I'm going to take my fabric and I'm going to scrunch it up as if I'm making a fan. Do you guys remember taking some paper and going back and forth making a fan? This is what this fabric is going to look like. After I finish scrunching my fabric together, then I'm going to take my needle and go right through my fabric. This way it would hold my fabric together when I glue it on top of my comb. Now I'm going to stretch my fabric across my comb, then take my hot glue gun and glue it down and cut off the remainder part of my thread. Now to my loyal, dedicated family members, I appreciate you guys rocking with me all year long and into the new year. I appreciate you guys and I love you guys from where? From the bottom of my heart. I appreciate you. The next step is to measure, cut out, and glue my diamond wrap on top of my fabric. I think the diamond wrap really looks pretty with this fabric. If you want a simple look, you can go ahead and stop right here. But if you want to glam it out a little more, keep watching while I add a little jewelry to it. I pray everyone is doing fine. I pray that your family is doing fine. Again, we made it through another year. Yay! I hope everybody stayed in for watch night. Me and my family, we stayed in. We found a service on YouTube and we watched it and we brought in New Year's that way together. So we did that and uh, we enjoyed it. I want to know my beautiful family, how did you guys bring in your New Year's? Okay, my next step is I'm going to glue my jewelry on top of my diamond wrap. Now, I bought this jewelry from Michaels. It was $7.99, 50% off. So that was a pretty good deal. Okay, I'm trying to decide on which jewelry I want to use for this project. Let me see. Hmm. I decided I'm going to use the big ones, the ones that has a lot of diamonds in it. 
I will be using my glue from my glue gun and my Gorilla Glue in order to glue my jewelry down because the glue from the Gorilla Glue takes about 24 hours before it completely dries so the glue from the glue gun will hold it in place until it dries. Right now I'm just making sure everything is straight and I'm gluing each one of my jewelry down. For any bride that is getting ready to get married and they are looking for a simple headpiece, this will be the perfect project for you to do. It is so simple, again it's inexpensive and you would just love it when you are finished. Joann's have so many beautiful sheer fabrics that you can choose from. This fabric is so beautiful. You, I wish you could see it in person. This video doesn't do it any justice. It is so beautiful. Right now what I'm going to do is cut out a strip of diamond wrap and glue it to the top of the comb just to cover up the white part of the comb. Okay, after the glue has dried, then I'm finished with the veil part that will be placed in the back of my head. I'm finished with the veil part. It came out so beautiful. Y'all see this fabric? It is gorgeous. The next thing I'm going to do is I'm going to attach this headband to the comb. Now I purchased this little headband from where the 99 cent store. Okay, so I'm going to again attach it to my comb. Now you can glue it to the comb or you can just attach it to it. Just turn the comb over like I'm doing here and just attach it to the comb. It is so easy to do. My final step is to glue a small jewelry to one of the diamonds on the headband. I am finished. Now you can wear this headband two ways. I will show you both ways. The first way you can wear it is around your forehead and the second way you can wear it is around the top of your head. Thank you so much for watching this video. Please come back next week. I upload a video every Monday, Wednesday and Friday.